Welcome to Pod Applaud, the Monday through Friday podcast that aims to enable your podcast habit. I'm your host, Seb, and today we are going to get grim with the podcast Grimm's Fairy Tales. Grimm's Fairy Tales is exactly what it sounds like. The classic Grimm's Fairy Tales from nearly two centuries ago, told in a podcast format. I actually found two versions of this podcast. I'll get to that in a second. Either way, episodes are all different lengths for each of the stories. Some are less than five minutes long, but none are longer than 20 minutes. And there are 63 episodes, regardless of which of the two versions you check out. Alright, about these two versions. Both released all their episodes around the same time in 2017, and both are associated with LibriVox. That's L-I-B-R-I-V-O-X which is a free source of public domain audiobooks read by volunteers. One version has multiple readers donating their time to reading individual stories. The second one was read completely by Bob Newfeld. I prefer the version with Bob Newfeld, which is distinguishable because the podcast art has a blue stripe that reads loyalbooks.com. Phew. That housekeeping took a minute, but now that we're into it, Bob Newfeld is a gentleman who has dedicated an enormous amount of time to reading for LibriVox and has a decade of audiobook narrating experience, so you can expect a professional and enjoyable experience listening to his work on this feed. Grimm's fairy tales are full of goblins, imps, witches, fairies, royalty, heroes, villains, and plenty of the damsels in distress trope. When it comes to the Grimm's tales, these translations are accredited to Marion Edwards, who from what I can tell produced this work in 1912. So although some of the fabled violent and problematic writings have been cleaned up, we are still in a bit of a early 20th century mindset at best with these tales. I'm sure there are more modern and woke retellings available online, but these tellings are quite adequate if you really want to listen to the stories with a little bit of grimy grim remaining. The audio is great, and as I said before, the narration is excellent. I'm not sure what the relationship between loyal books and LibriVox is, so that might be a little bit shady. Otherwise, If you want to hear the origin or original stories of tales such as Snow White, Hansel and Gretel, Rapunzel, Cinderella, Riding Hood, and many others, this is a good place to look. Here on Potaplod, I rate shows on a 1 to 5 scale. 1 is silence, 2 is a slow clap, 3 is applause, 4 is a round of applause, and 5 of course is a standing ovation. I would give Grimm's Fairy Tales a 3 out of 5. Applause. There are no ads or anything trying to capitalize on this public domain work, recorded via donated time, which is something I can appreciate. You just simply get the stories, no bells or whistles, and nothing that might be an annoyance or a barrier either. With this episode, I mostly just wanted to share just how diverse podcasts can be, I find this method of listening to public domain audiobooks great, since I don't have to wait for a library queue, I can download with internet and then listen to them later when I don't have Wi-Fi, and my podcast player automatically deletes episodes when I've finished them. This is huge, since I can listen to audiobooks such as free public domain books or independent authors through Pocket Cast, and not have to worry about episodes filling up my phone. For my next listen, I've been considering listening to LibriVox's recordings of Dante's Inferno. If any of this sounds interesting, try going to listennotes.com and searching for LibriVox, 
you'll find all sorts of free audiobooks. So yeah, the grim subject matter didn't quite grip me, but I will be trying to find some more public domain audiobooks as podcast in the near future for sure. If you are looking for some fairy tale inspiration, then this is a very easy way to listen to Grimm's fairy tales. That's been the show for today. I hope you found it valuable. If you wish to reach out or follow me, you can find me on Twitter at potaplod or send an email to potaplod at gmail.com. Thank you for listening, and please tune in again.